This episode's full of adolescent actors and actresses because we've got eight questions on child stars. It's picked by Patreon subscriber Earl Clark. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be. And welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. It's your favorite child star, Ryan Buds. That's me, your host for this uh, podcast. Thanks for checking it out. I wasn't actually a child star, but I did have my taste of fame with a few mentions in local papers as a youth. So I'll tell you about a few of them. Number one, my mom won a shopping spree at our local grocery store, which was called Jewel, which you, if you live in the West Coast is like Albertsons or Vons kind of a store. And uh, she won the shopping spree and they mentioned all of her kids' names and like her husband in the article. So the picture in the local newspaper was her holding up a bunch of meat and coffee, uh, which is what she grabbed the most of on the shopping spree. I think she had three minutes or five minutes and she got to take anything she wanted and she went for the most expensive stuff. And we had like great meat for a year or two <laughs> that she froze and uh, great coffee. And she loaded up a few carts and uh, she's wearing like a jewel white crew neck, very 80s, 90s kind of uh, sweatshirt. And it says, uh, you know, like Kieran Buds wins a bunch of stuff at a shopping spree. And uh, she's going to bring this stuff home to her husband, Tom, her kids, Colleen, Tommy, Scott, and Ryan. And it said Ryan age three. And uh, I remember thinking that was the coolest thing a couple years later when she was like, hey, you were in the paper one time. And I was like, oh, I made it. This is great. Uh, so that's number one. Number two, I got my photo taken making miniature guard snowmen for a snow fort me and my friend Joe made on the street I grew up in in the south suburbs of Chicago, Crestwood, Illinois. We were making, we made like a big igloo fort kind of a thing. And, um, he ran inside cause I think he had to eat lunch or something. And I stayed outside and I was like, I'll make some guard snowman, uh, snowmen, which I stole from, I think Calvin and Hobbes, which I was reading a lot of at the time. I think I was about nine and I was making these miniature kind of, uh, mini snowmen to guard the outside of this fort. And this lady drove by and she jumped out with a camera and she's like, Hey, I work for the daily South town. Can I take your picture for the paper? And I was like, Sure this could have been anybody. This could have just been some crazy lady, but, uh, she took my picture and, um, a couple days later I was, uh, in the paper and it said like Ryan buds builds miniature guard snowman for his fort. And my mom also thought that was the coolest thing. Uh, so the third thing I could tell you about, uh, another paper incident was when I was a sophomore in high school, I, for some reason wrote an editorial called it's time for pride, not negativity after nine 11. And they ran that on the front page of the local paper near my hometown. <laughs> and it was like a teenage editorial. Uh, I, I think I just opened and closed it with like an Abe Lincoln quote. I don't know. It was just like very rambly for a teenager, just an insane teenager. And uh, those are my three touches of fame in the local papers in the town that I grew up in. Um, it was uh, not exactly child star fame, but to my family, I'm very locally famous due to those newspaper mentions. So today's episode is all about real child stars, and uh, it was picked by Patreon subscriber Earl Clark, who lives in Gilbert, Arizona, where I imagine there's way less rain than LA right now. It's been raining buckets for like a week straight here in Southern California, so I hope it stops soon. To quote my pal and comedian Dave Yates on um, Facebook, I pay good money to not see my breath in LA. <laughs> so... A uh, great little joke and comment from Dave. And uh, I agree. We live a lot, pay a lot to live here. So get this weather out. Get those palm tree kind of weathers back this way. That's what I want. Uh, for these questions today, I'll give you three bullet points. You tell me who I'm talking about. We got some males. We got some females. And let's jump into these eight child star questions right now. Here we go. Child star number one. Here we go. Here's your first bullet point. Number one, first movie screen name was Gertie. First movie screen name was Gertie. Number two, murdered in the opening of a famous horror movie. Murdered in the opening of a famous horror movie. And your third clue for the first child star is directed a roller derby movie. Who are we talking about there? Number one, child star number one. Here comes child star number two, appeared in Goonies, Hunted Vampires, and sang a song in 2016 called Go for it that's go number four and then it this is uh, number two appeared in goonies hunted vampires and sang a song in 2016 called go for it child star number three was in angels in the outfield 
played a sitcom character named Tommy S and grew up to be a famous superhero sidekick briefly. That's number three, was in Angels in the Outfield, played a sitcom character named Tommy S and grew up to be a famous superhero sidekick briefly. Number four on your list, helped fight farm aliens, beauty pageant contestant, and theme park zombies. Those three clues will add up to what child star. Number four, helped fight farm aliens, beauty pageant contestant, and theme park zombies. Number five, sick girl in the sixth sense, last name of Cooper on a Fox show, and born in London. Who is that? Number five, six, sick girl in the sixth sense, last name of Cooper on a Fox show, and born in London. Who is that? Number six was in Stand By Me, starred on a show called Sliders, and married to a full house star's ex-wife. Number six was in Stand By Me, starred on a show called Sliders, and married to a full house star's ex-wife. Number seven, famous for the line, How Rude, hosted something called Pants Off, Dance Off and is on a popular Netflix series currently. Number seven, famous for the line, How Rude, hosted something called Pants Off, Dance Off, and on a popular Netflix series currently. And child star number eight, played a young villain, currently 29 years old, and was a fan of the Turbo Man doll. Number eight, played a young villain, currently 29 years old, and was a fan of the Turbo Man doll. Those are your eight child star questions. Hopefully you figured them all out with those bullet points. We'll be right back in just a second with the answers to see how you did. And here we go with the answers to child stars. Question number one. First movie screen name was Gertie, murdered in the opening of a famous horror movie and directed a roller derby movie. The first movie was E.T. The second movie was Scream. The third movie was um, uh, whatever that's called, roller derby. <laughs> Is that what it's called? Whip It. I think it's called Whip It. Drew Barrymore was the answer. Drew Barrymore, child star Drew Barrymore, who's an adult star now. Not an adult film star, but you know what I mean. Number two, appeared in Goonies, Hunted Vampires, sang a song in 2016 called Go For It. That was Corey Feldman. I urge you to go check out the um, Good Morning America, I think it was, performance of Go For It a couple years back in 2016. It is Bonkers. Number three, was in Angels in the Outfield, played a sitcom character named Tommy S, and grew up to be a famous superhero sidekick briefly. I was looking for J.G.L. Joseph Gordon Levitt. The brief sitcom uh, or the superhero sidekick was uh, Robin in The Dark Knight Rises. Tommy S, Tommy Sinclair, is, is that their names? Tommy Sinclair, Tommy something with an S, on Third Rock from the Sun, and he was in Angels in the Outfield. Number four, helped fight farm aliens, beauty pageant contestant, and theme park zombies, Abigail Breslin. We're talking about Signs, Little Miss Sunshine, and Zombieland, which is coming back for a sequel. My friend Ernest is working on it right now, doing some special effects and things down in Atlanta. So shout out to Ernest if he's listening. Number five, Sick Girl in the Sixth Sense. Last name of Cooper on a Fox show and born in London, Misha Barton. Did you know that Misha Barton, who played Marissa Cooper on The O.C., was born in London and was the girl who's being poisoned by her stepmother in The Sixth Sense, which is always, I think, one of the darkest uh, plot points of any movie in the last 20 years to uh, when they re when the, uh, what's his name? Haley Joe Osment helps find that tape for the the dad who's grieving over his the death of his daughter and you find out the stepmom's been poisoning her. It's brutal, brutal part of the movie, but uh, powerful stuff on screen. Here's number six, was in Stand By Me, starred on a show called Sliders and married to a full house star's ex-wife. That's Jerry O'Connell. He was the bigger kid in Stand By Me. He was on the show Sliders, which I liked quite a bit. And he is married to Rebecca Romaine, who is probably now Rebecca O'Connell, I guess. She used to be married to uh, John Stamos from Full House, which takes us to our next one. Famous for the line, How Rude, which is a line from Full House. Hosted something called Pants Off, Dance Off, and on a popular Netflix series currently, which is Fuller House. We're talking about Jody Sweeten, number seven, Jody Sweeten. Uh, Jody Sweeten's cousin, I don't know his name, but they have the same last name, uh, plays trivia with me at Last Name Brewing every Wednesday, 7.30 to 9.30. Haven't seen him in probably about a year, but he used to play there all the time. And he's like, yeah, that's my cousin. I was like, is she cool? He's like, I don't know. So, so uh, straight from the cousin's mouth. Number eight, played a young villain 
currently 29 years old, was a fan of the Turbo Man dial. That's Jake Lloyd. I always forget that Anakin Skywalker was in Jingle All the Way, looking for that Turbo Man dial with his dead Arnold Schwarzenegger. Jake Lloyd was the guy in question. There it was, guys. A fun round on Child Stars picked by Earl Clark. Thanks for the topic, Earl. Earl's been a part of my Patreon page since the very beginning. And if you want to hop on board now, you can get some free stickers for just throwing a buck at the show. If you're brand new or you want to support the show in a small monetary way, throw a buck on patreon.com slash trivia with buds. For a buck, I'll send you a couple of stickers that advertise the uh, daily podcast with the brand new uh, podcast logo art with my face on them, drawn by Brian Ward. And you'll also get access to our ongoing AOL-style chat room over on Discord, where patrons post questions and pictures, and we talk about what we're doing for the week. It's cool. It's a fun little community, and I'm super happy that uh, it's around. So you can jump on there for just a buck, patreon.com slash trivia with buds. Also, if you join at the $10 or more level, I still have a few Funko t-shirts in the VHS boxes, which are very cool. Um, I think I have one of every movie left and, uh, I will send you one of those for freezies. In addition to all your other $10 level rewards, that offer ends at the end of January. Okay. So do that by the end of this month and get that free t-shirt. Thank you guys so much for listening. Thanks for telling a friend about the show and we'll see you tomorrow for more trivia with buds. Cheers. Cheers.